All right, for today's concoction, simple, easy things you're gonna need. Now, I always use ground turkey because I guess it's healthier, it's lighter, all that stuff. You can use regular ground beef, but that's what I use. This, to open this. Now, I'm gonna brown this meat. And I only use that half a pound because I'm only cooking for myself, so I'm just gonna use that half and get this going. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna turn the oven on to 375 because I'm gonna have to use that in a minute. And maybe some of y'all are asking, what could he possibly be making with such a limited amount of ingredients? Some of y'all might not be asking that question, but I'm going to show you it's kind of dumb, easy, simple recipe that you can make for either a party, for yourself, um, for your kids. Yep. Yeah. Alright, now pouring spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce? Yes, spaghetti sauce. Pour it in. That should do. Mix it all up. Okay, now it's time for the scary part. You know, I've done a lot of sketchy things in my life, but nothing scares me more than opening this damn thing of biscuits. I've taken two Xanax already just to calm down before I open this. Sorry y'all had to see didn't get to see that but there it is. Spray it up. Alright, so what I did was get those biscuits and made little cups here and just lined the biscuit pan or whatever muffin pan with the biscuits and made little cups and I'm gonna pour that little mixture I just made of uh, turkey meat and uh, what else was it? spaghetti sauce now the thing is like I said I've never been in, into like um, if the food looks all nice and pretty and good presentation the uglier the better you know what I'm saying these look all ugly it's just like me you know it gives it character I remember my mom would tell me that when I was little. Son, you're ugly, but you have a great character. And that's the way my food is. Ugly, but it gives a character. There you go. Ugly, but a nice character. Tomato. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to take a break and eat this confetti cake. Put a little bit of cheese on top and put them back in the oven for a couple minutes. Now you can top them with anything you want, guacamole, lettuce, tomatoes, whatever, but I'm going to top mine with this, the medium kind. And there you go. I don't even know what to call these things. But like if you're going to a party and you don't want to show up empty handed, make a couple of these. People will like you. Um, if you have a bratty little spoiled kid that doesn't want to eat, make some of these little taco bowl, taco in a cup. Maybe they'll eat their food. Or if you're like me and don't want to eat a big dinner, eat a couple of these and you should be good to go. Like I said, you could put lettuce, tomato, cheese, like a little taco cup, but I'm just putting a little salsa on there. And there you go.